Huh. If you doubt your manifestation will ever come, if you doubt this law of attraction, if you doubt that you actually have the ability to create your reality, then stay tuned. And I hope that I can clear up some of that doubt for you. In the meantime, please subscribe, hit the like button, and remember to click the bell notification to be notified whenever I post next. So we all know, well, I'm assuming we all know, that doubt slows down the law of attraction. Doubt slows down manifestation. So the more doubt you feel, the more slow your manifestation is going gonna, is gonna to happen because when you feel doubt, you are telling the universe that you do not have what it is that you're trying to manifest. You doubt that it's in your life. And the only time something ever pops up in your life is because you believe that it's already there at a subconscious level. And so doubt can be really detrimental to your manifestation. The reason why you shouldn't doubt is because, look, man, think about it. Life is weird. Life is weird. We're sitting on this supposedly planet this, this ball that is sitting in this space this black vacuum of space and we have no idea how the hell we got here we have this amnesia that's why there's so many different religions because we don't really know and we're trying to pinpoint what it is we're trying to find we're scared man we're scared that we don't know what this life is we're scared if there's life after death we're scared to to not know and so we put ourselves in religion we put ourselves in this attitude that we have it all figured out and when you put yourself in this a life figured out attitude you start to close yourself off to ideas about other things in life that contradict your life figured out attitude so all religions have this life figured out attitude Science has this life figured out attitude. And with this life figured out attitude, you shut all doors out to all possibilities. But let me let me put you on a secret, a little secret. No one knows what this shit is. No one. No one knows what life is. Your pastor doesn't. Your scientists don't. No one knows. And since no one knows what this life is, there are no bounds. The possibilities are endless. Like I said, we are sitting on this ball that's floating in this vacuum of space, this blackness that's supposedly so huge and large and expanding. But even then, we don't know. You've never been to space, have you? I've never been to space. So we're just assuming this off of something that we read online, yeah? Or something we've seen on TV, yeah? But we ourselves don't know it personally. And some might say it's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. That means that no one at a personal level knows what this life is. Not you, not me. But the good thing is that is that life is endless then. Because if you have life figured out, which you don't, which I don't, no one does, then you think that life is a structured way of being. You don't think you can create something because it's hard. There's odds to this. There's this or that. Those are all man-made, my friend. All of that. All of that is someone's opinion. Everything. Life is weird and limitless with no bounds. And so don't let anyone put doubt in you because they don't know what life is either that's just their opinion and all the doubt you feel is because someone had put it in there for you but they don't know they really don't know no one knows it's a question that may never be answered maybe we're not meant to know it's unknown which means that it is limitless you can do anything that you want so you want to manifest a lottery win. So you want to manifest the love of your life. What's so hard about it? We're literally sitting on this planet that's floating around in space. What is space? That's more of a That's more of a odd or a challenge than manifesting something, bringing energy to everything's energy, yeah. Attracted into your life. What's the big deal? 
What's there to doubt? There's nothing crazy about it. It's just how it is. The chair you're sitting on or the phone that you're holding is 99% empty space. You don't think about that, do you? You're literally holding empty space. It's not even that physical at all. We don't know what this life is, man. It's weird. The fact that you can hear my voice right now, wherever you're at, see these visuals that I put on the screen. It's weird, isn't it? And since no one has this life figured out, there's no bounds. So don't let anyone put doubt in you or whatever. Go inward and realize that this weird reality that you're in is uncharted and nothing is proven on exactly what it is. So find peace in this and realize that life is ready for you to explore if you're willing. But you must unlearn to progress. You must unlearn everything that you were taught to progress. Everything you were taught, someone's opinion, it's ever changing. No one has this life figured out. Not me, not you, not your pastor, not your scientist, not your father, not your uncle, not your wife, not your cat, no one. So it's endless. If you want to manifest something, then go do it. What's there to doubt? Life is weird. There's nothing really weird. The least weird thing, honestly, is you trying to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. The only stuff that you should be doubting is why the hell we're here in the first place. That's weird. So remember, life's not figured out. And don't go on this life figured out attitude and don't let anyone with this life figured out attitude tell you what it's life. So if you're trying to manifest something, you're trying to use this law of attraction, use the mind to create your reality. Someone comes up to you and says, this is nonsense. What are you doing? Go get a job. Stick to your job. Stick with your day job. Do this or that. They just have a life figured out attitude. They think they know exactly what life is, but they don't. They're in this stuck mindset. Don't be like that. And don't let these people control what it is that's going on in your life. Just look around at the people who beat these amazing odds. People who have literally beat this amazing odds. Look at yourself. You know the odds of you being born? They're tremendous. Look it up. You beat the odds already just being born. We are limitless as far as we know. And we can do anything in this life as far as we know. But we've been so conditioned with this life figured out attitude. This is science. This is religion. This is God was always here. The Big Bang was, was what created life. Life is endless. Life is a mystery, but life is uncharted, so the possibilities are endless. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, realize that you're already on this weird planet that does weird things. So what, what's the big deal about you manifesting something? You bending energy, you bring it into your life. There's nothing weird about that. There's nothing to doubt. It's just like breathing air. You don't see it, do you? You don't see the air. You breathe it every day. Your manifestation is coming. But it's only coming if you get rid of all this life figured out attitude and look at life through an explorer attitude. An uncharted explorer. Seeing how life works for you. And don't let anyone's opinion on it make you doubt. So if you want to manifest what you want, you must unlearn everything that you were taught. And once you unlearn everything, my friend, the sky is no longer the limit.